Hello and welcome to Pizza 360. I'm Daniel Lee Perea, and joining us today, live in the booth, is our special guest, uh, PMQ's editor at large, Liz Barrett. Uh, Liz has just released her first book, Pizza: A Slice of American History, and wanted to give our PMQ audience the first view. So let's open up the book and see what Liz has in store for us. Welcome, Liz. Thank you, Daniel. Now, tell me, what inspired you to write this book? Um, actually, working at a pizza magazine, you always think about possibly writing a book, but usually you're too busy putting together a magazine to do anything like that. But I was approached by the publisher, Voyager, after they spoke with one of my friends in the industry, um, John Arena from Metro Pizza in Vegas, and he had suggested that they talk to me about possibly writing a book. And so once they talked to me, we got the ball rolling, and it all went from there. So how does your pizza book differ from other pizza books? What can readers expect to find in it? Well, I like to think that I'm coming at the pizza industry from a different angle, pizza books from a different angle because I'm from the industry and I'm kind of taking the reader behind the scenes in the, the pizza world. I'm not coming at it from a chef's point of view or a pizza eater necessarily's point of view. Um, I have, you know, seven years experience with PMQ where I've, you know, visited hundreds of pizzerias and spoken to hundreds of pizzeria operators and I'm able to give this behind the scenes view of, you know, all of the industry that maybe readers out there aren't used to seeing. So it's kind of like, you know, get a little sneak peek of what goes on in the kitchens. What was your first pizza and uh, what do you remember about it? Well, I always remember a pizzeria in Troy, Michigan, which unfortunately isn't there anymore, but it's called, uh, it was called Wagon Wheel uh, Saloon in Troy, Michigan, and my mom would bring it home. She only, she only brought it home a few times, but I remember it. It was the typical Detroit-style pizza with that crispy crust and the caramelized cheese and that smell that you don't forget, um, and it was just awesome, and you know, I think that most people that I talk to do remember either their first slice of pizza or their favorite slice of pizza. And even if their first experience wasn't a good one, like school cafeteria pizza, it doesn't hamper them loving pizza for the rest of their lives, which is, you know, typical. So while you're examining the history of pizza in America, you also share recipes in this book. Can you tell us more about what types of recipes mm -hmm. we'll find in here? Yeah, each chapter talks about a different style of pizza, and I show a different recipe um, for each style. But it, by no means is this meant to be a cookbook. Um, I'd re much rather you look at the recipe and say, oh, yeah, that really makes me want that pizza. Let me go out and go to a pizzeria and get it. This is meant to make you want to go to the pizzeria, not sit at home and make the pizza. <laughs> so, yeah, it's mainly for inspiration, not to be a cookbook, but there are recipes if you do want to stay home and make some pizza. You know, even if you use the same recipe, with the experience level of the pizzeria, you're probably not going to quite make it as good as they are anyway. Right. I know pizzeria operators that have worked for years and years and years over hundreds of recipes to try to mimic a pizzeria from their hometown, and it's very difficult. So... So you've included hundreds of pizza-related photos in your book. Are all of these photos from your private collection? Um, yes, actually about 90% are from my private collection, although I don't know if I'd like to admit that I've eaten that much pizza in my life. <laughs> <laughs> the other 10% are, have been loaned to me from historic pizzerias that have been around for you know, 50, 60, 100 years, so I'm very thankful that I was able to get those photos from them. So there's plenty of photos to look through and make you hungry. You definitely want to have the uh, pizzeria on speed dial when you're reading the book. <laughs> so you've interviewed several industry experts in this book. Mm -hmm. but what do these interviews cover? Um, well, really, they're meant to give kind of a one-on-one -on -one look into the behind the scenes of the pizza industry. You know, a lot of times, the same as when I tell people that I work for a pizza magazine, they're like, oh, there's a pizza magazine? Like, I never knew that something like that existed. So this will kind of also open up the doors to show them that there's a whole other world out there that's pizza, you know what I mean? There's trade shows, there's people that are, like, running pizza schools, there's, you know, people that have dedicated their lives to making the perfect crust, I mean... So this will really like open up people's eyes to the fact that we have a whole other world out there that's all pizza crazy. <laughs> so. World of pizza. Yes. So what did you find most rewarding about writing this book? I think that probably the most rewarding thing is just being able to put all of my um, photos and stories and, and just, you know, 
things that I've seen over the last seven years with um, PMQ into one volume and just tell those stories from these pizzeria operators that have dedicated their lives to this craft. And, you know, it was really kind of uh, full of anxiety when I was putting this together, honestly, because I felt a lot of pressure to get these stories, you know, right and pay respect to this um, industry that I've, you know, worked at for so many years and so but the end product you know I'm very proud of and I hope that those who read it will you know understand more about the industry and the people who are in the industry I hope that they um, you know will be happy with what I've done to represent it. Well thank you so much for coming on the show Liz. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And if you want to buy pizza a slice of American history you can find it at your favorite bookstore or your favorite online bookseller or, if you're interested in bulk orders, you can contact Liz directly at liz at pmq.com. And she is also available for book signings. Well, that's all the time we have for this week on Pizza 360. You can visit us online at pmq.com. Subscribe to our print or digital version of the magazine for free at pmq.com slash subscribe. Follow us on social media. Find news and more on our website. And uh, for Pizza 360, I'm Daniel Lee Perea. Looking forward to reading this book.